Hi, I'm Judy Kessinger. I'm the creator of the Fit Nice system. I designed this system to make your sewing easy, and I want to show you a really fast, easy garment to do. This is the camisole that's all dressed up. Now, I have a camisole on, and a lot of you ladies love camisoles. If you've ever been to any of my classes, or you've been to any of the Fit to Fabulous fashion shows, you know I always dress like this. One of the reasons is I'm always hot, but I always dress like this. So I decided to get this dressed up. And I have to tell you where I got this idea. I went and had my nails done. And the little girl that was doing my nails had a camisole on that looked just like this. And I thought, I know how to do that. And all I need to do is to add the beads. So make sure that you print off the PDF and I'm gonna show you how to cut the pattern to make this adorable camisole with beads you're going to make a whole new pattern for this camisole because I promise you, you're going to make tons of these. They're great under a jacket. I mean, they really are great under a jacket because they don't add a whole lot of bulk to it. Now, you're going to need patternies to make yourself a new pattern for this. So I'm going to start with my master knit top pattern like we're starting with always. We start with that. And again, the drawing directions are on your PDF, so make sure that you print that out. But what I'm going to do in order to do this is I'm going to take my master pattern and I'm going to move it three inches. Now, this is on the front because the front and the back are going to be exactly the same. So you only need to cut one. I'm going to move this about three inches away from this uh, edge of this pattern ease because that's what's going to create the all the bulk in the front to make those pleats that with the beads. So when I do that, again, I'm going to make sure that you draw on here that center front line because that's your grain increase line, remember? So if you need to crease it down the front, you've got it. You want the grain line. Now I'm going to draw this on here so I can show you how to determine where to cut this down. Because you can see these are extra straps. This is just the front and those are extra straps. So I'm going to draw the whole thing in like this for you and come down here on the side like this. Oops, and then draw that just like that. So when I take the master pattern off, you can see this. So this is going to go all the way over to the front. All right. I want you to measure down about, and it tells you on here, about four inches. So that's totally up to you. So I'm going to go down about four inches. Remember, hold this up to yourself in the mirror so that you can see. And then I want to go down, I don't know, just a little bit above this. So I'm going to do this and then this, all right? So this creates exactly what I have on. You can see that we have the armhole and you can see that we have that edge. Go take this to a mirror and make sure that you're happy with exactly what we've cut down. You can actually cut it out as well, but I'd much rather you see this once you've drawn it to see. Now you can line up your center front and you can line up your shoulder to see how far down this is. But this is what creates the camisole part. Now, the best part about this is cut yourself a little bit of extra length because you can always raise it. If you've cut it a little bit too low, you can always raise it. But the front and back are exactly the same. So you're going to lay this on the fold. This would be your fold line. And I'll write on here fold line. And this is the fold line of the front because you're not going to put the pleats in the back. And this would be the fold line of the back. So let me turn this around and show you what I'm talking about. So this one is the fold line of the front, and this is the fold line of the back. So the back, you're not adding any, anything to, but we're adding to the front. All right? Now, let me show you a fun thing to do. First of all, when you're making a camisole, you have to remember, um, if you're going to wear a strapless bra, you're fine. But if you're going to wear a bra, you're going to show bra lines. So this is what I do. I don't wear one. And I put French views in the front of my camisole. So it's kind of like I've lined the camisole. And if you look at the one that I have here, you'll be able to see that the front of this has French views in it. So it just gives it a little bit more body. If you're wearing this under a jacket, you're fine. If you're not wearing this under a jacket, then you might want to make these straps a little bit wider so it would cover your bra strap. But let me show you how simple this is to put these beads in. 
You do not need to make buttonholes. It almost looks like they're buttonholes, but there are no buttonholes. This strap holds the whole front up. Now I'm going to take one whole side out for you to show you what I'm talking about. The, now I like doing it this way because the beads are not washable and you want to make sure that you use, you, you have something that you can remove the beads when you launder the garment. So let me pull another one out and show you because this is really easy to do. And it gives the shirts so much fun look. Beads are pretty easy to find. You just need to make sure that the hole of the bead is big enough that you can put these things through. So I'll leave that one in there. So you can see this is what holds the, the side of this up. And then I've just pleated it and it tells you in the directions exactly how big to make those pleats. And I just made slits in them. Now, I always kind of chuckle at all of you that want to put buttonholes in everything. That's not going to ravel. Nobody's ever going to see that it's a buttonhole or not a buttonhole. I just make slits in it. And then all you have to do is to feed this through your bead, feed it through the hole. And then when you tie it, you can tie it tighter or you can tie it looser. And you have these pretty beads across the front of your camisole. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you've seen how simple and easy this system is to work with. All of the products you've seen in the video are available on my website or a link on my website. Please make sure while you're there to check out the classes to see where I am. Join me on Facebook under Fit Nice and be sure to join the Fit Club. Thank you.